Hello, and welcome back to the Yuan Pizzazz channel. Happy December, folks! Today, we're gonna learn how to let it snow in After Effects. Take a look! If you wanna learn how to do this, keep watching. Go ahead and open up After Effects. As you can see, I have already created my comp. If I go into here, right click, composition settings, you'll see that it's 1920 by 1080, and I made the duration 10 seconds. And I just went ahead and I dragged my image in here. But we're actually going to start off by toggling off the image so we don't see it. We're just going to focus on the snow for now. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to right click in here, new solid. And we're going to name the solid snow layer. And it's okay that it's black. We're just going to press okay. Now we're going to go into effects and presets and we're going to search for CC particle world here we go and we're gonna go ahead and drag that onto the snow layer now let's go ahead and play with these options here we're going to go into grids and guidelines and we're going to toggle off position radius motion path and grid we're going to go to the birth rate and we're going to just bring it up a bit we're going to change this later but we need to be able to see what we're doing here now go into producer so the main ones we're going to mess with is radius X, Y, and Z. So I'm going to just bring out radius X. I'm going to bring out radius Y, so it kind of fills the entire screen here. And radius Z is to kind of create some depth here. Okay, I'm happy with how that looks. We can close the producer tab and go into physics. We're going to change the animation style to direction axes. We're going to change the velocity to 0.01. We're going to change the resistance to 2.0. And this is something that you can mess around with later. And we're going to go into gravity vector and we're going to add a nice angle to the gravity X. So if you just move the playhead a few frames, you'll see that it's going straight down. We don't want that. We want it to move at an angle because it's a little more natural for snow. So I'm just going to go ahead and add an angle to the left here. Okay, that's perfect. All right, we can close physics and go into particle. We're going to change the particle type to faded spear. And we're going to play around with these settings here. We're going to make the birth size smaller here. And we're going to make the death size a little bigger. Here is good. And size variation. That's really important because we want to have different snowflakes at different sizes. So we're going to just bump that up to, I think, 85% is good. And we're going to leave max opacity at 75%. Now let's go to birth color and death color because it's going to be snow. We can make them both white. If you want to add a nice blue tinge to it, you can do that. We can just kind of go into blue. Just added like a nice little blue vibe to it. That's up to you. You can play around with it, see what you like. Now, the last touch is we're gonna go back to birth rate and longevity, and we're gonna change the birth rate to 1.0, and we're gonna change the longevity to 2.5. Now let's take a look. And again, you can play with the birth rate to kind of increase the amount of snow. And um, if you go back into physics, you can change the resistance. So if you want to make it faster, you can make bring it up. So that's a little faster here. I think 2.0 is a little more natural. And um, bring that image back. See how that looks. Alright folks, that is it for now. You learned how to create this cool snow effect in After Effects. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe for more Adobe tutorials. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.